All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy JD, and I'm back again with another video. So, as you know, as everybody knows, um, I won't be doing live reactions for a while. And if you don't know why I won't be doing live live reactions for a while, I posted a video. Major channel update is very important, so definitely go watch that video, and you will understand why I won't be doing live reactions anymore for the time being until further notice. So, yeah, now. To get into this video, um, I'm going to start doing recommendations for you guys for different series, series that I've read, series that I like. I also will do um, first impressions for certain series that you guys leave in the comment section that you want me to check out. So I will read those series, do my first impressions on them, let you know, let you guys know what I think of those series. Um, and if anybody else should read them or or not. So kind of like a trash or pass kind of like that thing should you read it should you not stuff like that so that's what i'll be doing from now on as far as beginning at the end season four i know a lot of you are looking forward to that um what i'm thinking about doing is doing a live reaction of beginning at the end season four chapter one just not how i used to do them um thinking about you know doing it and um pretty much just letting you guys see me read and see my reactions on the events that's taking place but just not showing any content whatsoever um if that's something you guys will be interested in let me know in the comment section below if that's the case i can do that with solo i can still do it with overgeared i can still do the live reactions just um won't show any content whatsoever so if that's something you guys are definitely interested in let me know and we can um go ahead and do that and that can be like somewhat of a workaround i guess to where we can still have live reactions and you guys can still get my initial thoughts um on the events taking place but yeah so let's get into this video So, like I said, this is my first recommendation for all of you guys to check out. This is the Returner's Magic should be special. Now, I was up on Returner's Magic like before beginning after end. So, I was already up to game on this series. And this series is one of my favorites to read. <laughs> like, the MC, Dazir Harmon, like, bro. Bro, let me tell you, this guy is a savage. He is a savage, but he also has his nice side. But when push comes to shove, this guy will pull out all stops to save his friends and protect his home. And that's one of the things I love. So to give you guys a brief synopsis on this story, just in case you never heard of it. So the world is on the brink of destruction after a devastating 10 year war in the Shadow Labyrinth. Dazir Harmon is one of the last skilled magicians left standing, but even he is no match for the formidable foe threatening humanity's very existence. Just when he's certain the end has come, he is sent back in town to his early days of studying magic at the prestigious Hebron Academy. With his rare second chance, Dazir is determined to save not only himself, but also his friends and comrades he once lost. Armed with the knowledge of what the future holds, can his efforts make a difference or are they all doomed to relive the same terrible destiny? So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Now, as far as the story is going so far, um, there is no hint or like mystery to figure out why he was sent back to the past. Um, they haven't discussed that so far, so that's still a mystery on um, why he was sent back to the past who sent him back to the past and their purpose for sending him back so that's all the things we have to um wait and try to find out as we go along this journey but i'm telling you guys um the series is a great series definitely one of the top webtoons out there and if you haven't heard of the series definitely go check it out you can read it on tappy tunes um i know i know a lot of people feel about tappy tunes but they have the licensing for it so want to catch up on it you can read it on tabby tunes i think they have 75 chapters out um of course if you go in the other route of reading it they have 125 chapters so tabby tunes official publisher now has 75 and of course if you go the other route they have 125 chapters out so i'm i'm just you know throwing it out there for all of you guys 
So yeah, definitely go check out Return of Magic should be special. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. If you have read this series, let me know what's your thoughts on it. If you haven't, based off of this video and the trailer in the background and my explanation of it, will you be willing to um, give it a look? Also, if you guys like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Twitch because I might start doing live reactions over there. That link will be down in the description below. And also, subscribe to the backup channel just in case we go down for whatever bullshit reason. But, yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, JD, I'm out. Peace, y'all.